So my name is Monet. Um, I'm from New York City, and I am the plant mom of Amsterdam. I help people take care of their plants. I coach people through their plant care journey, and I help with sourcing and maintaining plants throughout Amsterdam. So what inspired me to start um, Plant Mom was my experience working with plants. I've always had kind of a keen eye or just a general understanding of plants, especially after I started getting into plants uh, maybe about eight or so years ago. And throughout my experience from working professionally or working in a retail setting, uh, I always felt the need to help people. <laughs> uh, I felt like even though I was really passionate about plants and doing things with plants, there was just a lack of understanding and knowledge surrounded by yeah, millennials and people who love plants just like me. Plants have been trending, I hate to say trending, like how are plants trending, you know, but you know, um, in terms of collecting and uh, buying and getting into the hobby of uh, indoor plants, um, it has been trending for several years now. Um, and it was accelerated by uh, COVID-19, people being in the first lockdown where you could leave the house for three months. A lot of the time you are not only interested in the nature part, but more of the self-actualization. Being able to look at your home and wanting to improve your home or improve your lifestyle. And it gives you, and it gave a lot of people a lot of time to do it. So yeah, it's definitely affected uh, my business, Plant Mom, which I started before uh, the store with consultations and uh, more people interested in some of the installations that I do as well as how uh, to maintain their new urban jungles. I think people were buying six, seven plants at a time. Um, and now you're in this point, or now at least I'm in this point um, where I'm consulting, but I'm seeing that the, the knowledge is still not there. And my goal is to help people understand that, you know, when you are buying, even if it's one single plant or two or even three at the same time, at least, um, that there it is a, a commitment to long term care. It's not, you know, I get a plant and I, you know, I don't want to buy a pot or I don't want to do this. That's not really your choice. It's really just what you have to do in order for your purchase to be actually sustainable. In New York, I was working as a um, first um, a florist. Then I got into maintenance uh, with plants in offices and resident some residential, but mostly large offices around Manhattan. And then from there, I moved on to working at a at a garden center, a really large garden center. And that's where I got to know like the customer market as well as people and uh, yeah, how clueless people really are. Um, going from working in more of a skill set or a trade, essentially where everyone around me is very knowledgeable, um, to working in a place where people want to buy things but have no idea what they're doing was a big like change for me. But it was also an um, opportunity that I saw I could act on. I think it would have to be my first really big installation. That would be my first really exciting moment um, with Nike. Um, and we created a two, one and a half, two meter uh, swoosh, the Nike swoosh, um, out of plants. And that was really cool. And of course, putting a really large plant into someone's house for the first time, that was also a very exciting moment. And yeah, I guess it showed like all the potential that I really had and the things that I could do not only to the people of Amsterdam, but to myself. Yeah, I think what I give to people as a consultant or what they, you know, respond or to my services with is not, um, you know, be I now I know how to take care of my plant, you know, kind of thing, uh, but more so understanding of um, each phase of your process, whether you get a really large plant or even something small, being able to have someone to help coach you through it. So if you have, you know, maybe one day you have a pot issue and we solve that, but then two years later, you know, you have a pest issue and then we're gonna solve that. And you know, it kind of keeps just like going in terms of like you're learning through me, but you're also being able to approach new challenges um, more confidently. So these two, they're not my I wouldn't say that they're my favorite plants, but um, 
They're quite popular uh, in general with uh, houseplants. Um, they are what's known as the easy plants or advertised as easier plants. Um, I find that the Hartley philodendron, this one, is a great starter plant. Um, if you're buying your first plant, this one it will teach you a lot as well as be super forgiving. Um, if you are over water or underwater, you know, it'll be the plant for you. This one is also advertised as a low light plant, um, and it is truly a shade plant, a lower light plant. Um, however, it is high maintenance. Um, they do require a bit of humidity. Um, so even though they're great for people without a lot of light, you do need to uh, consistently water the plant as well as make sure that you give it the right humidity or what you can experience is browning tips or shriveling leaves.